Hi folks, we have mail. Spider mail! <laughs> We've had something sent today and it's from jumpingspiders.co.uk as you can see there. I'll just try to get that in focus. We brought some jumping spiders, our first ones, um, I must say, and we've got Drew here with me, my son, who's really keen to be opening these. Uh, yeah, it's going to be my first time. Kind of spider, I mean, yeah. We might not hold today because they might need to settle in, but yes. Uh, basically the channel's set up, um, I'm a keeper of mantises and I've been for a long time. This is my first video which people will probably think strange as I'm having jumping spiders. But we thought we'd start it off with something different for ourselves and let's see what we've got. So in the box we had the little thingy, we've got the turkey basic as I call it. This will be for adding moisture to the enclosures with some water. It's come nicely packaged, the slings have. We've got two little slings. We have pre-opened these just to check which ones are which so we could mark them. We have a male regal spider and who is fully grown and we have a little baby female spider. So we're going to expect some great reactions from Drew when we see these. Now the packet's really good, they've come great. Next day delivery. And we'll just set these up so we can have a little look at them and go from there. So, Here's the two slings we've received today. We've marked them up, we put a little purple dot on for the female, and we've left the other one blank for the male, which his name is Axel, I've been told. Um, I won't go into detail why they've called him Axel, but it was quite funny. Anyways, this is our first little look at them. So I'm not going to be too sure how it's going to focus greatly on the smaller one which I'll probably put on my macro lens a bit later to take some little videos and shots of them both um, but let's open this up and have a look so here's the little male Drew if you want to have a look in there let's have a look there he is there's Axel Let me see. can you see him in there oh my god he's so good Hi, so we're back and um, we've got them in their enclosures. The smaller female is in a 16 ounce Dally Cup. Now these custom ones that I brought a lot of a long time ago, uh, probably about two years ago they used for the mantises because they've got putting holes on the side. So this is a 32 ounce one. They've uh, got holes in the top with a fine netting, a little grommet and a bung on the side, which you can see here. We take that out and before we used to use obviously blue bottles or green bottles and we keep them in a separate cup with a tight on in the funnel and feed them through but obviously as we're using fruit fly for the small one these here fruit fly culture and what I'll do is I will use a brush to get some of these fruit flies onto there and then literally just put it into here into the smaller pot and then put the bung back in because what happens is they make a little web cocoon on the top and they don't want to be disturbing them really so front opening tanks are the best so here's the little one in there uh, we have secured the bone just in case it pops out so they don't escape uh, and she has it at just the top corner here uh, which she's, she has eaten a few fruit flies and uh, we put a bit of substrate in for the time being um, keeping that damp up one side uh, just so when they shed it makes life a bit easier for them the larger male axle we've got in an exo tether and we have got a heat bulb over these with a dimming firm start and we're keeping them about 25 degrees celsius at night it's dropping down to about 23 so all in all it's been quite enjoyable yesterday and Drew's come a long way because years ago he was terrified of insects yeah. so he started off with sick insects didn't we yeah. at first and then he held mantises when they were very small nymphs and moved up from there and now he'll hold a big mantis and yesterday he held a, a spider which is a really big achievement yeah, I, I don't know this one who climbs up on my face is so creepy 
So what do you think to Axel then? Good. You like him? Yeah. What do you like about him? He's very good, he does some move on me. And you did say he was cute, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, and we've been watching them feed. So we are going to do a, a bioactive setup. So I have got some hydro rocks. Oh. Sorry about the noise. So we've got some hydro rocks. We we'll use a membrane on top of them, then a mixture of substrates. Some people use different stuff. We've brought a translated potting soil, some live moss, and we'll probably mix a little tiny bit of cocoa fiber in with that. Um, we have got some cleanup crew on the way, so we've got some springtails and I think we've got some cow isopods if I remember right, or it might be the orange ones. I can't remember what I've ordered, but we've also got some plants as well, some live plants. Um, but there's only so much you can fit in a small exoterra and they tend to go at the top a lot. So um, feeding wise for the larger one, we're going to be using a mixture of mealworms, blue bottles, and very, very small locusts. Blue bottles? Yes, the flies, blue bottles. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you've enjoyed watching. Yeah. And thanks and come back again. Bye for now. Bye.